of this church building. Um, as we go into the summer period, we have our summer brunches, and so our normal live stream services won't be happening. But for those of you who regularly join with us online, we didn't want to just stop and not provide anything. And so over the next six weeks, we're going to have on a Sunday morning at around 9.30, a shortened morning prayer with a short thought for the day. And over this six week, six week period, I thought it would be interesting to go through a walk with the man from Assisi, that would be St. Francis. Six weeks of summer, taking a walk through with the man from, from Assisi and looking at how themes, six themes within Francis's life that I think apply to all of us today still. So uh, just full disclosure, it's going to be a very shortened sort of service, a few bits of prayer, just a couple of songs, a very short thought, and then that will be that for this morning. If you are then able to come join us for the brunches, um, please do come along. If you are unable, I hope you will find this morning's and the next six weeks morning such morning prayer uh, a helpful experience over the six weeks. So, I think the best way to begin this morning is to recite that call for the Holy Spirit that is contained within the Franciscan handbook itself. And the words are going to appear up on the screen for you as we say together. You of comforters the best, you the soul's most welcome guest, sweet refreshment here below, heal our wounds, our strength to renew. On our dryness pour your dew, wash the stain of guilt away, bend the stubborn heart and will, melt the frozen, warm the chill, guide the steps that go astray, on the faithful who adore, and confess you, give us virtue's sure reward. Give us your salvation, Lord. Give us joys that never end. Alleluia. Praise the Lord. And now we're going to go into our first bit of morning worship here this morning, which is the song, I Am Who You Said I Am. And that song will appear on the screen for you now. Would welcome me. I was lost, but he brought me in. Oh, his love for me. Oh, his love for me. Who the sun sets free, who is free.
And so it only be present that before we have a quiet time of reflection of confession this morning, that we proclaim our faith together here this morning. So let us say together the words that will appear on the screen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now, in a moment of silence, let us come before God, in whom there are no secrets, and all of us as fallible human beings bear ourselves to our loving and forgiving let us take this time to silently confess together. And now, in a moment, let us proclaim together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all of our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in the newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the reading this morning is taken from Ephesians 2.10 very short reading it's been read from the new english translation for we are his creative work having been created in christ jesus for good works that god prepared beforehand so we can do them now this reading this morning is an interesting one and it's all about being true to yourself and that's the first lesson that we're going to have on this journey we go through our walk with the man from Assisi. Being true to yourself, Francis travelled a number of paths before he found the one that was right for him. He was a son of a successful cloth merchant and in, the, and in 13th century Italy he seemed to be destined for business success and wealth and all that went with it. He also had an interest in soldiering being a knight and he toyed with being this successful cloth merchant to this mighty soldier, knight but it's only when praying before the cross that's just there behind me there, it's a cross in a, in a run down church in a little town called San Danamino that he heard this call from God and that's when he discovered his true path he, ab he abandoned the wealth of the wealthy cloth merchant and the military and embraced a life of poverty and service he was initially called crazy yet in time as people listened to what he had to say as he went, uh, went about repairing the little rundown church in San Danamino and then actually went out and helping the people in the community that that impression of him as this crazy man changed he would later Saint Francis would later reflect that when he heard the instruction as he prayed before that cross to rebuild the church that it was perhaps an instruction to repair the people since the church itself is the people. It was about the spiritual health of the church. Yes, Francis did good works, but it was about 
Francis finding who he was, who his true self was, by turning away from that immense wealth and doing something that was wholly unique to him as an individual. For us, being true to ourselves is about being true to who God has made us to be, who has created in us, in some translations of our reading this morning, who has created in us a masterpiece. And we are being true to ourselves when we go out and listen to God and do the work that God has prepared for us beforehand. It is work that is uniquely suited to us and no one else. So we might share some, some work role, but it's uniquely suited to us. And so my question for us all to take away this morning, for all of us to ponder is, what does being true to yourself look like? in our listening to God. And as we ponder on that thought, let us have a short time now of prayer. And we'll start with saying, the night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And then the words are going to come screen if we all say together as we rejoice in the gift of this new day so may the light of your presence O oh god set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever amen and if we stay in that attitude of prayer let us all say together the prayer that jesus taught us our father in heaven Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. And give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now it's going to be time for our final bit of worship this morning as the song No Longer Slaves plays for you and for us all now. You unravel me with a melody You surround me with a song
but we are at the end of our time together this morning. And so a final prayer and blessing this morning in our first week of this morning prayer shortened online service. So eternal God and Father, you create and deem us by the power of your love. Guide and strengthen us by your spirit that we may give ourselves in love and service to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, so as we go out into the world and into the week, may we all know the blessing of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.